Hi everybody. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to debug a Canvas app in Power Apps. So let's get into it. To fix issues with the Canvas app, it is really important to know what it does and how it works. Sometimes just looking at the code or error messages is not enough. By watching how your app behaves in real time, you can see what is happening step by step, which makes it easier to find and fix problems quickly. And when it comes to debug a Canvas app, we have a tool monitor with which we can debug and troubleshoot issues in our Canvas app. It is a tool that offers makers a true low-code approach through a rich troubleshooting experience that doesn't require any complicated setups such as plugin installation or configuration settings. Through one-click experience, it provides a deep view of your app by logging all the key activities that occur in the app as it runs. It is available by default for all the Canvas apps. You can use it with any app in a test environment or in production. Or in other words, it can be said that it works both with the apps we are developing or the apps which are published during runtime. This tool helps you to diagnose and troubleshoot problems faster and build more reliable apps. It also provides a better understanding of how the events and the formulas contained in your app work so you can improve the performance and identify any error or problems. To use monitor for your app that you are currently working on or developing, Sign into your Power Apps. Navigate to the Canvas app that you want to debug. Here, for the demonstration, I have created a demo debug app. On the left pane, select this icon that is Advanced Tools and select Open Monitor. This action will open Monitor in a new browser tab and will connect it to your existing Power Apps Studio session. Here. A notification will appear on the top to show the current monitoring session as studio session. Now, go back to your app and play it. You can perform the actions as required. Like here, I have created a very simple app which will take input of customer name, customer ID, the feedback and will submit this data in a SharePoint list. So now let us see how the events which I am going to perform on my Canvas app here are reflecting on the monitor dashboard. I'll click on this customer name input. I will go to the monitor dashboard and see select type of operation is reflected here. Now I will put some input like the name of the customer. And after that, again, I will go to the dashboard and see set property type of operation has been monitored here on the C name input type of control with text property. So it means that whatever action I am going to perform on my Canvas app here is going to be monitored on the monitor dashboard. So one by one, I'll be filling the information. Customer ID as 22 and my feedback as a positive experience. Now I'm going to click on submit. See, I am getting a network error when using patch function. The requested operation is invalid. Okay, to get some more details about this error, we will go to the monitor dashboard. And see, we are getting three errors on three events. Before getting into the details of the errors, we can see that here we have multiple columns like ID, time, category, operation and many more. The ID column specifies the sequence number of the events which are performed on the Canvas app. The time column specifies the time of the event has occurred. Category column specifies the type of event such as network, user action, function, runtime and many more. The operation column specifies the internal name of the operation of the request inside the app. The result column gives a description of the status code that is like success, error, etc. The result information is a detailed translation of the error codes and the failures. Like here, patch request payload is a description about this success result for the data operation event. 
the status column specifies status code of a network request. Like here, it is showing 400 for network type of category for submit button here. Here, the duration helps to understand the performance of network calls in the app. That is, 1145 milliseconds is the time taken for the request to be sent and a response to be received. This duration column is very important to analyze the performance of your Canvas app. Then, the data source column specifies the name of the data source assessed by event operation. Like here, for the network type of event, we have feedback list, which means that on click of the submit button, the data is going to be created on feedback list, which is a SharePoint list. The control column specifies the name of the control associated with the event, like feedback input, submit button. Then the property column specifies the type of the activity control property of the active event. And at last, we have response size. It represents the size of a response received from the sender to your apps in bytes. To know some more details about your error, you can just simply select the error and a panel will open in the right hand side. This panel will contain four tabs, details, formula, request and response. Details provide a high level view of the event. Here the highlighted line explains the snippet which is related with the error. You can normally expand it and get some more details about the error. Like here, we can scroll down and we can have a message which says object must implement iConvertible. And by going through all these details, we can normally debug our Canvas app and see where the error is. Then the formula tab shows the related formula of your Canvas app for the selected event. The name of the control property triggering the event is displayed on top of the tab and inside the event table. Then we have the request tab which shows the exact network request that was made. You can expand the headers and the body to get more details about the request. And in the similar way, we have response and you can expand headers and body to get exact response which we got. Now we have some more additional features about the monitor tool. You can filter and sort each column as per your requirement. Like you can sort from smaller to larger and vice versa. You can filter a particular column with the help of these options and you can even move the column left or right as per your need. And at last, you are also having an option to pin any column that you want to left or right. Like here, the ID column gets pinned to the left direction. And in the similar way, you can unpin these also. Then you also have an option to upload and download the event logs that are shown in the table for offline analysis and troubleshooting issues. The downloaded trace file can be exported as a JSON or an Excel file and is shared with others so they can help you to solve your problems as well. And apart from these, Monitor tool also offers two features to facilitate collaborating troubleshooting and debugging of the Power Apps problems. That is, the first to invite the users. This feature enables makers to share a monitoring session by inviting other team members within the same organization to the same monitor session. This helps you to quickly collaborate and debug the app together without the need to share your screen. When you invite others to participate in a session, they see exact same app events in their own browser without having to open the app or the need to reproduce the specific scenario that you are debugging. This allows you and the other participant to browse, view and inspect the app events independently without stepping on each other and handing control back and forth to identify the problem. You can just normally copy the link and share it with the user and after that, using that link, they can join the session 
and remember that the sleep will expire after 60 minutes. Now the second scenario we have is to use monitor tool to debug a published canvas app. For this, go to the app that you want to debug. Like here, I want to debug this particular app. I will click on more options. Then click on monitor. This command will open the monitor dashboard in a new browser tab. Now click on play published app. This will open up a canvas app in a new browser tab. So this is how our app looks like. We are getting a notification that you are connecting to a monitor debug session. And with this also, this recording symbol specifies that your app is being monitored. And from now, whatever actions you are going to perform on your app, those will be reflected on the monitor dashboard. Now, before performing any operation on the canvas app, let us first go to the monitor dashboard. Now see, we are already having three events that is the screen load type of category performance and again the screen load. Now let us go to the app and perform the functionality. This is a very simple app which will get the invoice details using the Contoso coffee connector. So I'll click on this button and I hope that I will be getting the details but we are getting an error which says that the server returned an HTTP error with code 404. So let us go to the dashboard and see what are the details. So I will click on this event and let us see the details. So we are having the request URL. And again, in the similar way, we can debug our app with all these details. We have another feature that is connect user. This feature basically enables the makers and the support teams to share a link with end users to launch a published app and connect it to a monitor session. This basically helps so that the support teams can watch the sequence of the events generated by end users interaction. For this, you can just simply go to connect user, enter their email or name and you're good to go. Now let us jump to our third scenario. This takes employees names and their department as the input and adds this record to a SharePoint list. And here I have intentionally added wrong name of the function that is remove. Now let us see if this particular kind of error gets reflected on the monitor dashboard or not. For this, I will publish this app again. So this is how my app looks like. I will enter the employee name and then will choose the department and will add it to the list. When I will click on view list, it will navigate to the next screen and with that, it will show me the record that I have added here it gets added and in the similar way I will add another record as well now I will click on the delete icon and see if I will be getting any error notification here okay we get no notification here now let us jump to the monitor dashboard and see if we are getting any error no we are not getting any error here now a question may arise that why this thing is happening. The thing is monitor tool in power apps doesn't specifically highlight the syntax error in canvas apps. Instead it primarily focuses on the runtime errors, data source connection issues and performance monitoring. Syntax errors such as incorrect formula syntax are typically identified during the app design time within the power apps studio environment. And it already provides a real-time formula error highlighting as you type. If there is a syntax error in a formula, it will be underlined and a tooltip will provide information about their error. So at last we can say that debugging canvas app with the help of monitor tool will specifically help you to debug the runtime errors. So this was all how to debug a canvas app in Power Apps.